Yo guys, I'm going to make the video. So, I'm just going to work today. So I'm just going to kind of film a little bit I'm going to do for work today. I work at Nick's for any of you that I don't know. And uh, this month they're doing like a feature on all of our lip products. An extra feature, more than they already do. Um, so today we had to wear a soft matte lip cream. And the only one I own is this one. And it's one of the only ones that's uh, not neutral. So this is what I'm going to use. This one is in 31 Moscow, for anyone that cares. Uh, it's basically just like a navy blue. Yeah. So the look's going to be kind of navy blue, just because it's kind of got to go with this. I haven't gone for so long. Life's been a lot recently. A lot of things happened. deal with so that's why I've been kind of like away and not making videos as often so I really do apologize for that. I'm gonna try and get better. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this prosade and flatten down my eyebrows. So I have this really gross spoolie like please excuse how gross that spoolie is um, but I put some prosade on it and just run it through my eyebrows just to flatten them out. I'm really just flattening them so you won't be able to see them as well because the final look's gonna kind of go above like into the forehead so I'm trying to just like hide the eyebrows without having to do like the full eyebrow cover because that's just like a lot of work. <laughs> then for shadows I'm gonna take the Urban Decay Jean-Michel Bisquat palette and I'm gonna take this color in Studio. Uh, I'm gonna take it on a very large flat brush. I'm gonna pack it all over my eye and underneath my eye and for some reason I put it on my eyebrows I'm not quite sure why, but I did, so there's that. <laughs> I'm just putting down these shadows as a base so that the other eyeshadows have something to stick to when we put them down later on. Taking the shade Untitled from that palette, I started off packing this just on my eye because I thought I was going to put it just on my eye and like do like kind of like a smoky kind of look. Um, and then I just kind of changed my mind and decided that I was going to just put it everywhere and this was going to become more of like a mask instead of an eye makeup look, which is fine, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but yeah, I basically just took the blue shadow and put it basically everywhere from like the top of my eyebrow down to like the middle of my nose. <laughs> Then I took a fluffy brush with the same color and blended out the edges of this look just so they didn't look as sloppy. I also went in and filled in kind of any like bald spots that I kind of missed beforehand. Uh, I'm basically just evening out the edge and making sure it was more of like a straight line versus like a really like choppy line like it is right at the moment. Then taking the Morphe 35V palette, good old reliable there. I'm going to take that blue shade and a mixture of this teal shade and I'm going to take the same fluffy brush and basically blend out the edges of this blue more. Uh, as you can see I'm kind of taking the colors and I'm running them along the edge and I basically just go back and blend over this spot like 3,000 bazillion times until it ev eventually looks like the dark blue fades into the teal. Uh, it takes a long time, trust me. <laughs> Um, a really good tip uh, that I don't know if I show here is also taking a white eyeshadow and blending out the edges of this after the colors are mixed together. It helps give it a much more dispersed look. So I'm just going to fast forward through the rest and do the other side so that way you guys don't have to watch it because this would be painfully long otherwise. So I went ahead and did the other side just so I kind of knew what kind of look I was going for in the end. So, and this is me showing you how I created the opposite side. <laughs> so basically I took alternating colors of the teal and the blue separately and started drawing almost like drips down from the edge. Uh, I found the best way to do the drips is literally just to do a straight line, like get as much shadow as you can on your brush and just like drag it straight down. Um, that usually works pretty well. And for the drips I find, it's really important to make sure that it's wide at the beginning uh, as you can kind of see me doing, uh, and then gets thinner as it goes down. That makes it look like a really like believable drip. <laughs> then 
taking a dark purple shadow from the Morphe palette. I'm taking this on a smaller brush and basically blending this all over my crease and kind of on my eyelid as well. Uh, and in a second, I'm gonna make a wing with it. This does not have to be perfect because obviously the rest of your face is blue, so as long as the purple kind of blends into the blue, you're really good to go. <laughs> taking the Starcrust Minerals Glitter in Seeing Stars, the NYX Professional Makeup Glitter in Blue because NYX is really uncreative with their names, <laughs> and the Starcrust Minerals Glitter Adhesive. I am going to take a mixture of the two glitters and apply them to my eye. Uh, I usually like to take a very small dense brush to do this just because I find it packs the glitter on better and I find the fluffier the brush, the more like fallout you're gonna get. Uh, if it's a little more dense, it's gonna like pack the glitter onto a little bit better, I find. I don't know, just a personal preference thing. <laughs> uh, I applied the glitter to about the inner one-third to inner half of my eye, uh, just to make sure it popped out enough um, from the rest of the blue that was on the face. Then taking this Makeup Forever Professional uh, Waterproof Pencil in 3L, I lined my upper and lower waterline with this pencil, trying to avoid getting any of the glitter in my eye, even though it all got in my eye because that's just my life. Um, and then I took some of the blue shadow from before and packed that onto the upper and lower waterline as well, just to kind of set the pencil in place and make it stay a lot better throughout the day. Uh, I would not suggest this if you have very sensitive eyes because you do get the eyeshadow in your eyes and it does not feel the greatest, I'm not gonna lie. Then I'm gonna curl my lashes and apply a couple coats of this Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. Then taking the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Skin Frost in Deep Freeze because obviously we still want to glow even with a blue face. Uh, I applied this highlight on my cheekbones and Kind of a cool thing happened, um, because I put the blue on the blue, the highlight just kind of went really silver and it looked really blinding in photos, like it was incredible. <laughs> Highly recommend doing that if you own this highlighter. <laughs> then taking the same pencil I had used on my eyes, I cleaned it with some 99% alcohol um, and then used it as a lip liner just so everything would kind of match. Uh, I don't always do a lip liner, but I find, especially with darker colors and especially with the NYX uh, Soft Matte Lip Creams, which you will see me apply in a minute, uh, a lip liner is a very good idea because the colors can bleed a little bit just because they have a little bit of a softer uh, finish to them. They're not um, as much of like a liquid matte. I work at NYX, so I feel like I can say this. Uh, when it comes to the Soft Matte Lip Creams, the darker colors are not the greatest. All the darker ones that I've tried are quite streaky. All the lighter colors, like all the nudes and all the pinks are completely gorgeous and they are so nice to wear. Uh, it's just the darker colors can get kind of splotchy as you can see how much I'm kind of struggling to get the color to be even and I think I had to go back in with a pigment over top to get it to not be as splotchy. Just to be real extra, because that's the kind of human being that I am, I took this Krylon uh, Aqua Color in the shade Off White because I couldn't find the white one. Uh, and this is actually an eyebrow brush, I believe. Uh, and I took some water because these are water activated paints. And I basically just kind of splatter a whole bunch of white paint all over my face. Uh, I think when I was filming this video, I was just really in the mood to do splatter. So I figured I would just do it everywhere. A word of caution while doing this would be to make sure that you keep your eyes closed as much as possible or get someone else to do it so you don't have to worry about seeing uh, because there was more than once that I basically got pain in my eye and paint's not really meant to be in your eye so please be careful uh, and don't get paint in your eye. <laughs> so this is the finished look you guys, I hope you enjoyed, if you did please give this video a thumbs up and I guess I will see you guys in my next video.